Hi everyone, welcome to Safety World. Today we are going to see the elements of fire, classification of fire, and types of fire extinguishers. To learn about safety, hit the subscribe button to get regular updates. Let's jump in. A fire needs three elements. Heat, oxygen and fuel. Without heat, oxygen and fuel, a fire will not start or spread. A key strategy to prevent fire is to remove one or more of heat, oxygen or fuel. Class A. Solids. This type of fuel could be paper and cardboard, common in offices and manufacturing. It could be furniture or fixtures and fittings. It could even be the structure of the building. Class B. Liquids. Many of the fluids, liquids and chemicals used in workplaces can be flammable or explosive. Like cleaning fluids, solvents, fuels, inks, adhesives and paints. Class C gases, this could be natural gas, LPG or other types of gases forming a flammable or explosive atmosphere. Class D metals, metals are not often thought of as a combustible material, some types of metal can be, like sodium. Metals are also good conductors, helping a fire spread. All metals will soften and melt at high temperature, which can be a big problem when metal joists and columns are present in a fire as structural elements. Class D electrical fires this is not strictly a class A of fire because electricity is more a source of ignition than a fuel. Class F cooking fats and oils deep fat frying and spillages of flammable oils near to heat sources in kitchens can result in a class F fire. How to use a fire extinguisher? Though extinguishers come in a number of shapes and sizes, yet all operate in a similar manner. You can use them in four steps named pass, P pull the pin. A aim at the base of fire. S. Squeeze the operating handle. S. Sweep from side to side. There are five main types of fire extinguishers. Water extinguisher, foam extinguisher, carbon dioxide extinguisher, wet chemical and dry powder standard extinguisher. Water extinguishers are the most common extinguisher for class A fires and carry the original signal. Red color label. Water fire extinguisher are used on paper and cardboard, fabrics and textiles. Wood and coal. Not used on fires involving electrical equipment. Kitchen fires. Flammable gas and liquids. Who might need water extinguishers? Buildings made of wood or another organic material. Premises storing organic materials, like office buildings, schools and nurseries, hospitals. Warehouses. Foam extinguishers. Foam extinguishers with their cream labels. Are the most common type of fire extinguisher dot for class B fires. They also work on class of fires, being water-based. Foam extinguisher are used on paper, cardboard, wood, coal, plus flammable liquids such as petrol, paint and turpentine. Not used on kitchen fires, electrical fires, flammable metal fires. Dry powder extinguishers the blue labeled dry powder extinguishers are sometimes called ABC extinguishers because they are used on class A, class B and class C fires. They shouldn't be used in enclosed spaces because the powder can be easily inhaled and the residue is very difficult to clean. Standard dry powder extinguishers can be used on some electrical fires, plus specialist dry powder extinguishers are used for fires involving flammable metals. Used on paper cardboard, wood, coal, plus flammable liquids like petrol, paint and turps, plus flammable gases like liquid petroleum gas, LPG and acetylene. Plus, fires involving electrical equipment up to 1000 V. Specialist dry powder extinguishers are only used on flammable metals, such as titanium and magnesium. Not used on, cooking oil, chip pan fires. Fires involving electrical equipment over 1000 V, or in enclosed spaces, such as offices or domestic dwellings. Carbon dioxide, CO2, extinguishers. CO2 extinguishers have black labels and are mainly used for electrical fires, although they are also usually the main type of extinguisher, used in computer server rooms. They also put out class B flammable liquid fires. Used on, flammable liquids, like paint, petrol and turpentine black label CO2 fire extinguisher. Fires involving electrical equipment. Not used on, kitchen fires or chip pan fires. Organic materials like paper, wood, cardboard or fabric. Flammable metals. Wet chemical extinguishers. Wet chemical extinguishers with yellow labels are specialist extinguishers, designed for use on fires involving cooking oils and fats, class F fires. 
They can be used on Class A fires. Although businesses usually have a foam or water extinguisher for this purpose. Used on chip pan and cooking fat fires. Organic materials. Not used on flammable liquid or gas fires. Electrical fires. Fires involving flammable metals.